An anal fissure is a tear in the lining of the anal canal. It can affect people of all ages. A fissure can cause pain during bowel movements, but they usually don't cause any serious problems. Once you develop a fissure, the internal anal sphincter goes into spasm and this impairs the healing of the fissure. Exposure to feces will also impair the healing. Most anal fissures will settle with simple treatment in a few days. If a fissure persists for more than six weeks, it's considered a long-term or a chronic fissure. Anal fissures are caused by trauma that stretches the anal canal. These injuries can happen in several situations, like when you pass a large stool, or if you're constipated and if you pass a hard stool. Crohn's disease can also cause fissures, especially ones that are recurrent or fissures that happen in unusual positions. If you develop a fissure due to passing a hard or a large stool, you may get the sensation of tearing or ripping. You will also develop one or more of the following symptoms. A sharp burning pain during bowel movements. This pain can be quite severe. This pain is usually brief, but sometimes it may go on for a few hours after the bowel movement. You may also notice the passage of a few drops of bright red blood. Some people notice the presence of a small lump near their back passage at the low end of the fissure. Some develop irritation or itching of the skin around their back passage. Anal fissures are diagnosed based on your symptoms and the findings of the physical examination. The physical examination usually involves visual assessment of the region around your anus. As this is a painful condition, a digital examination is usually not performed. If your doctor finds multiple fissures or fissures in unusual locations, you may require an endoscopy once the pain settles. The goals of treating a fissure includes relieving the pain and healing the fissure. Most fissures will heal with conservative management and this includes several components. You must avoid constipation. This means you need to increase your intake of fruits, vegetable and fiber as well as drink plenty of water. If this fails to improve your bowel habits, you will need a laxative. If you suffer from constipation, you can learn more about this condition from the video in the link given. You can take a sitz bath by mixing 2 tablespoons of salt with warm water and soaking the area in it. This will improve the blood supply to that area and also relieve the pain. Your doctor will also prescribe you two creams. Lignocaine jelly is for pain relief and you can use this before you go to the toilet. Nifedipine relaxes the anal sphincter muscles and thereby 
help heal the fissure. Both these creams need to be applied inside the anal canal for them to work optimally. About 30% of patients with anal fissures fail to improve with conservative management and they require further treatment. Injection of botulinum toxin causes a temporary paralysis of the anal sphincter muscle for up to three months. This will promote healing of the fissure. Surgery involves dividing a part of the anal sphincter muscle. Because this is permanent and a fissure only lasts for a short duration, this is only used in certain situations. If you would like to know more about this or have any questions, please leave a comment below. You can also comment on any topics you would like me to cover in the future. Thank you.